Hello, welcome. Congratulations, you found the video. So what we're gonna be covering today on this video is actually sediment in wine. Have you ever found yourself going to your cellar, going to your friend's house, uh, even at a restaurant or a liquor store, if you go buy a, a, a bottle of wine and you notice that there's sediment in the bottle. Now, should you buy this? Should you purchase this? Should you even open this bottle? That's what we're gonna to cover today. What do you do with wine sediment? So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. So, like I mentioned before, what we're going to cover today in this video is wine sediment inside your bottle. What do you do with it? Can you drink it? Do you want to purchase it? If you notice it, kind of where, where do you go with this? So, now this bottle of wine that I have, I actually just pulled out of my cellar, out of my Eurocob. Uh, what a Eurocob is, is it's actually a large wine fridge. Well, they come in many different shapes and sizes. I'll have to do, do a tutorial on one of those one of these days. But anyway, what it is essentially is a wine fridge. What is a wine fridge? Uh, what are you doing with it? So uh, long story short, we'll, we'll cut to the chase, is actually what the wine fridge is or Eurocob is, it just temperature controls your wine. Get that question a lot. White wines, red wines, how do you drink them? Warm, cold, what temperature, when? Kind of all that. Now with mine in this bottle that I actually just grabbed, so I, I keep all my red wines at 59 degrees. Now what that does is it temperature controls your wine. So a lot of people think you're supposed to drink red wine at room temperature, which yeah, is true, can be true. But what, what it means by room temperature, like with me is I keep all my reds at 59 degrees and that happens year round in, a, in, in my basement is where mine's actually at. So, um, and what that does is it keeps all the humidity consistent. It keeps the temperature consistent. It just gives a really nice place for your wines to age. So your younger wines can grow older, your older wines can get better. So that is the whole idea behind all this. So. Um, white wines, I like mine right around 39 degrees, red wines 59 degrees. If I'm having dinner that night and I want a nice bottle of wine, I'll go down to the Euro Cob, pull one out, open it up, let it breathe for an hour or two, or depending on how much time I have. That way it's at a nice crisp temperature, uh, the way I like to drink my red wine. So that kind of answers that. Let's get back to what we came here for, sediment in wine. If you notice you're at a liquor store or a friend's house or something like that, and you pull this bottle of wine off the shelf, and at the bottom of the, the bottle, you, you notice that there's some grainy looking, almost salt like. Well, we call that sediment. Now, is it okay? It's perfectly fine. I've consumed plenty of sediment in my day um, and it's never affected me. Do I suggest eating a bunch of it? I don't think that sounds like any, <laughs> any fun either. So there's a happy medium. So what I'm gonna show you is a couple hacks today uh, as far as what to do when you run into sediment, how you can take care of it, and uh, how do you go about drinking this wine? because it's more than likely the wine is probably still perfect. You just don't want to be taking mouthfuls of sediment. So one thing that everyone can do is everyone has a cell phone. So with your cell phone, all you're going to want to do is just turn your flashlight on. Now, like I said, this came right out of my Euro cop. So I brought it over, I set it down. I wasn't shaking. It wasn't trying to move it all around. Um, and this bottle has actually been sitting in this direction uh, for probably a couple of months. I try to rotate them a little bit. Um, but I know it has been sitting like this for a long enough period of time where the sediment is going to probably build up a little bit. And with this typical, or with this actual wine, I know that they are prone to sediment uh, when I've had them before. So I knew it'd be a good example. So that's actually just why I grabbed this bottle. So we should be able to see something. So like I said, I haven't been rough with it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is actually just pick the bottle of wine up, try not to shake it around too much. And then I'm just gonna grab my phone with the flashlight on. Now what we're gonna do is in, on the back of the bottle of wine, right here, you see a little indentation, that's called a punt. Now all the wine bottles are designed this way to actually catch sediment because this has been known to happen. So what we're gonna do is just take our flashlight and if you hold the flashlight right into the punt there, the bottle's a little dark, but you can kind of, you can see through and you can actually see the sediment in the bottle. So we know that we need to watch out for this when we put it into our decanter. We can decant wines, we always want to. So like I said, nothing, nothing wrong with that. Um, but just be gentle with it. And if you consume a little bit, it's not gonna be the end of the world. But like I said, no one wants to eat a bunch of, bunch of sediment. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the bottle of wine. We're gonna use our phone. We're gonna pour it into the decanter. And we're actually gonna use the flashlight on our phone to project up so we can kind of see what we're doing when we're pouring it. You know odds are pretty good that if we just jack the bottle upside down like this and let it all flow in, the sediment's gonna flow with it. So we're just gonna gently 
pour the wine into the decanter. And uh, with that being said, we're going to try to use the natural, the natural uh, wine bottle uh, curvatures to catch most of the sediment. So, so and actually with this one is just a twist off. So we are going to move it up. We're going to twist off this, and then with that being said, we're all, we're going to put our foam back in place. Now, careful with your eyes here, but we're just going to put this up. We're going to leave our flashlight go up. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to see the bottle and then see where that sediment was. And then we're going to just kind of keep an eye on it and then try not to pour as much in there. So we can, we can be nice and gentle with the decanter too. Now, when you're doing the decanting with the wine, you want to pour nice and slow if you can and try to get as much of the wine. And if you see here, you can, you can see how the light is coming up and I can see you directly into the bottle. So I can see that sediment and I'm just gonna keep doing that for the rest of the wine. And like I said, you wanna to try to pour it slow enough so as much of the wine can hit the surface of the decanter. What that's going to do is that's going to start opening the wine up even faster. So we're getting towards the end here and I'm not going to pour it all the way in. I'm going to leave a little bit because the odds are we're going to catch some sediment there too. And if you look here, you can see, see the sediment right on the side of the bottle there. Try to get some better light in there. You can see a big piece here. So you can see all that sediment on the side. Sediment is, and like I said, it's not bad. It doesn't mean the wine's bad. Wine's still gonna be good. We're just gonna let it breathe a little bit longer and we're just gonna con consume less sediment. And you know, with me, I think that's going to make the experience all that much better. So that is kind of what you wanna do as far as when you have some sediment and a decanter, you can drink it straight out of the bottle. I would just still do the same I would still do just do a slow pour into your glass rather than the decanter. If you don't have a decanter at your disposal, not a big deal. You can still just leave it in the actual bottle. It'll breathe just fine. Uh, what this decanter does is just helps open things up better. I like to reference it and tell people it's like after a long day of work, you like to take your socks off, your feet feel so much better. That's exactly what this bottle of wine feels like after it gets out of this bottle and gets to move around in this decanter a little bit gets to move around, breathe a little bit, everything's a little bit better. So once again, thanks for tuning in. This is Anthony Hendrickson. I appreciate you guys uh, checking out this video, learned something today, and I hope that you'll subscribe. You can hit that bell notification. The bell notification is gonna let you know when other videos like these are being produced, when the next one comes out, and it'll keep you in touch with more wine knowledge. So once again, this is Anthony Hendrickson. Thank you so, for, so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.